September 11, 2001. What moments before was a calm, crisp, and clear morning in New York City quickly transformed into something very different and very devastating. Veteran news anchor Dan Rather remembers realizing the impact just moments after he heard an airplane crashed into the World Trade Center. I had no idea of knowing who was behind it, but it certainly wasn't an accident. And it was clearly going to be one of the big stories of my lifetime. You're watching continuing CBS News coverage of the attack on America. An audacious and devastatingly effective sneak attack on the United States today. Terrorists crashed two hijacked airliners. As the, the events of the day unfolded, one more horrifying than the next, rather reminded himself and the audience to concentrate on separating the facts from rumors. It's important to say these things at the very beginning. There is much that is not known about what is happening. The second thing is that the word from almost everybody who's trying to deal with the situation, the word of the day is steady, steady. Yes, there have been some terrible things happening, but until and unless we know the facts, it's very difficult to draw many conclusions. Now, here's what we know. Did you ever have time to stop and think about the magnitude of what was happening? You fight yourself as a professional. You are having the same hammer to the heart that everybody else is having everywhere once they learn of it. But as a pro, you say, I can't think about that. I have to push my own personal emotions down within me and focus laser beam light on the job at hand. The images rather relayed to the world began to transition from crash to collapse to the clearing of the air at ground zero. In the days, weeks and months that followed, rather attended as many funerals of the first responders as he could. He wanted to add the sound of the bagpipes to the visual catalog of catastrophe already collected in his mind. The images of the buildings coming down, the shots of doctors and nurses waiting for the wounded that never came. Grief, sadness and outrage are among the raw emotions Rather says he still feels today. I'm not proud of it, but I'm still angry to no small degree that these killers, I refuse to call them hijackers, these killers who commanded these aircraft uh, would kill men, women and children of many races, many religious, different religious beliefs. As a journalist for the last 50 years, rather covered the death of President Kennedy, the Vietnam War, the Viet Cong is open fire. Watergate, are you running for something? No, sir, Mr. President, are you? And the fall of the Berlin Wall. All momentous milestones, but 9-11, rather says, was different. It not only changed our country, it also changed him as both a professional and as a person. I can accurately say that now, 10 years later, there's not a day that has gone by that I haven't repeated that to myself, that I will never, never, ever forget it, nor will I forget uh, the people and the forces responsible for it. It's unforgivable.